Hello and welcome back to Flipped Psychology. I'm Miss Lee and in today's video we will be covering consciousness. We are still in Unit 2, Biopsychology Domain. This is Section 10. Our objective today is to describe the relationship between conscious and unconscious processes. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and grab your notes and let's get started. Okay, so our definition, our working definition of consciousness is that it's an awareness, but there's more than one type of awareness that you need to be familiar with. First of all, there is what we call a sensory awareness. This is a consciousness about things outside of yourself, so your interactions with the environment. There is a direct inner awareness, and that's being aware of things inside of you, what's happening inside of your person, your body. And then this last thing on the bottom of your slide is a sense of self. So it's our sense of who we are as a person, as an entity, and our existence. So this is very much an abstract way of thinking about consciousness and our awareness of our place in the universe, so to speak. So we're going to discuss a couple of different theorists who have opinions and ideas about consciousness. And the first one that we're going to discuss is William James. And you may recall back to our first couple of videos, uh, William James was our first American psychologist. He was very much a functionalist and he wrote the first psychology textbook. He explained regarding consciousness that its meaning we know so long as no one asks us to define it. Some experts suggest that you aren't even considered conscious of something if you aren't able to put it into words. So are we conscious of consciousness? I don't know. The other theorist that we're going to discuss in this video is Sigmund Freud. And again, you may recall back to Sigmund Freud. He is the father of psychoanalysis. And he really believed that our conscious mind contains all of the thoughts, memories, feelings, and wishes that we're aware of at any given moment. He believed that we all have three levels of consciousness or three levels of mind. What we think of when we think of Freud is kind of like an iceberg. The conscious mind is what is sticking up out of the water. And this is the stuff that we're aware of on any given day. It's the aspect of our mental processing that we can think about, talk about rationally. Um, it also includes our memory, our conscious memory, which is not always part of our consciousness, but it can be retrieved um, and brought into awareness. The pre-conscious mind, that's that middle layer, it's anything that can potentially be brought into the conscious mind. So I think of that as kind of like waves splashing up over the iceberg. So sometimes you see a little bit more um, into the depths of the iceberg, depending on how the water is splashing up. So sometimes you see it, sometimes you don't. It can be brought into consciousness, but it's not always there. And then, and probably his most important contributions to psychology was his ideas about the unconscious mind. And we're going to talk a lot more about Freud and his beliefs about the unconscious mind when we get into the video regarding dreams. But he believed that the unconscious mind is a reservoir of feelings, thoughts, urges, memories that are outside of our conscious awareness. So he believed that the unconscious contains contents that are unacceptable usually or unpleasant, such as feelings of pain, anxiety, or conflict. So in this video, we talked about the relationship between conscious and unconscious processes, and we talked about the theories of consciousness from William James and Sigmund Freud. In our next video, we will be covering our biological rhythms and why we sleep. I can't wait to see you then. Bye for now.